Hello Cindy. Hello. Here we go. Um, I like you to tell me about. Is it important to save money and why? You can start when you're ready. Um, is it important to save up money? Uh, Nowadays, money? oh, no, yeah? not uh, money. Money is. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did. I didn't mean to wait. Oh, I mean save up money. Oh, save, save up. up. Sorry. I yeah. Save okay. Up money. Is it important to save up money? Right. Nowadays, money is very important. Without money, what would I do? If mm. I don't think of saving money for the future, I would be poor and maybe live on the streets and couldn't afford anything. That's what most people say, and it's true. Yeah. Here are why saving up, saving money is important. One, it gives me a better future. My money can make my goals come true. I can buy a house, a car, and afford things I need. Two, money can help me for my education. If I don't have enough money, I may have to go study at the general school. But if I have a lot of money, I can go to a good school, mm, a good school, college, and university. And also, I can go study in another country that is far. Yeah. Three, money can help me with my health problems if I have any. Um, if I have a small amount of money, I won't be able to afford a good treatment for my health. But if I have a good amount of cash, I can afford a good hospital and make sure I stay healthy if something bad happens. Yeah. Well, money can help me with my work. So if I save, so if I save money, I can work less and have more free time since I have some money and I don't work that much and I don't have to work that much and, and if I don't say and if we don't save up money we will be stressed because we don't have money mm, and some people rob because they don't have money so that means saving money is very important. Okay. All right. And have you started saving yet? Um, I mean, I have tried, but I don't know where to save up money from because I don't have it. Oh, <laughs> you, you don't have any, you, you don't get any allowance from your parents? Uh, I yes, wait, yeah, I do get allowance every week to go get buy snacks. Yeah, I do save it. Right, but you are stay you are staying at home like every day. So why do you have to buy some snacks from outside when you have everything at home already? No, it doesn't your, it... Doesn't your uh, mom buy for you from a, a supermarket? Mm, I don't know. I just go with her just sometimes. Like every week, I don't usually buy many snacks. So maybe like two or three, just small ones, and just eat it. Yeah. Where do you normally like, buy some snacks? Um, no. And it's just food too. Oh. Sometimes I get to buy it. All right. The food for yourself or for your for the whole family? Yeah, for my mom too. The one oh. my mom buy it and I get my own to buy snacks. Food so for myself. where where do you get your uh I mean who normally pays you the allowance? Mom or dad? Um if here my mom, but if there my dad will buy it in. Oh, you mean you you stay in uh, both places? 
Yeah, we go that to go with it. And oh, I see. So basically, you get from both of them, right? Yeah. And how do you save it? From the change, like when I pay it. So you, you put into the uh, piggy bank? Yeah. You don't save money in the bank? Huh? Um, I haven't went to the bank yet. I'm still saving to go put it in the bank. Sorry, can you say again? Um, I will go put it in the bank, but not yet. Have you had your own bank account yet? Yes, I have. Oh, good. But I don't use it. You don't. You mean you don't. You don't take the money out. You don't withdraw the money out of your bank. Yeah, but sometimes for studying, but no. Right. And may I ask how much do you get allowance? How do you get paid? Like weekly or monthly? Um, Weekly sometimes. Mm. Is it good enough for you? Can you say that enough? Uh, can you say good? that again? Is it good enough for you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't spend all of the money. Right. <laughs> yeah. Basically, you just spend on food and snack, right? Yeah. What's How about mean? your clothing? Oh, I do too. But that one, my mom pays for it. Right. But sometimes I get one too. Yeah. Like, right. So since when that you do you have started your savings? Oh, um, when I started school, but um, no, not like that. No, when I'm a kid. How do you mean not like that? Um, when I went to school, but not when, yeah, not homeschool. I started that time and I wasn't homeschool yet. All right. So that means that at the moment you stop putting the money into your piggy bank. Yeah, like that. Right. So, um, okay, let's say. You are what, 10, 11 years old now, right? Yeah. What, what if uh, in the next 10 years, do you think you will have enough saving to buy a car for yourself? A, a brand new car, not like second hand, yeah? Maybe when I get a job. <laughs> but in, in the next 10 years, do you think you, you'll be uh, getting a job and save enough money? Maybe. Yeah, I think I'm still studying though. Yeah. Right. Okay, one last question. Okay. Suppose, yeah, I'm saying suppose there is something happened. It's like we never expect it to happen. Okay. Um, that in the future, if there is something happen that your family really, really need the money, would you be able to give all those money to the parents, all of your savings, in regardless of how much that you have got? Uh, would you yeah. sacrifice? Would you sacrifice all your savings for the parents? I would. And would you, would you feel sorry that uh, you have to give all the money, uh, all the money to your parents, the which is the money that you have been saving for uh, all your life. <laughs> all your life, um, no, not so. Okay, let's say, let, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. Suppose that you are reaching the age of 25, yeah? And you 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 were about to get married and you need to use the money that you have been saving since day one, since when you are a girl, a little girl. But unfortunately there is something happened that your mom and dad really, really need the money from you to help support them, to support the family. 
But meanwhile, you are going to get married and you need the uh, money. So um, what would you do? I'm not selfish. I mean, so you give up the money. You give up the money or the money or the saving you have to the to your parents. Yeah. But you're going to get married. How about your life, your future? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I can just start. I guess. Yeah, but that's going to take years, right? But don't they have their own money that they get? <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Um, like when you retire, you can like. Well, you when you are twenty five years old, your parents are not retired yet. Oh, what? Okay. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> but they still need the money. Oh, um, I'll still just give it. Mm -hmm. So you 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 prefer you I mean you you are willingly and happily to give all those savings to your parents. <laughs> and you you still haven't answered my question. That, okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Then you give up all the money, all your savings to your parents, right, to support the family. But how about your wedding, which is going to be in the following month? What would you do? But I still give my parents the money. Yeah, but how about you? How about your wedding? <laughs> I can't do the money. <laughs> <laughs> how about your wedding? Um, if the person I'm gonna marry have a problem, I'll just stop it. <laughs> 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 oh, is that right? But you are so much in love. How can you stop marrying? Marrying? What? what? Just give me a good shot. <laughs> How can I say it? I don't know. This is a pause. It's the suppose story. I just want to. I just want to uh, hear your opinion. Your idea, what would you do if you met this kind of situation at that time? What would you do? How would you solve the problem? Okay, you and your fiancé are going to get married next month. But... Unfortunately, you have to give up all the savings that you have for all your life to the parents to help support the family in whatever the situation. I'm not going to mention it, okay, because this is a support story. But you and your fiancé have already made a promise that we will share. Everything will be shared, like half-half or maybe 60-40 between two of you. Apparently, you need to take all the savings and give it to your parents. Then you just tell him that, oh, darling, I'm so sorry. I don't have any saving anymore. Would you still marry me? Would you do that? Or, or what? How would you solve the problem? Stop marrying him? Yeah. I just stop stop or cancel or postpone yeah yeah which one that you 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 choose to stop marry him means never marry him again ever and the next one is to postpone Uh, stop? Remember, you are very much in love, yeah. Why do I have to do this? Okay, it's a suppose story. It's suppose, um, yeah. Uh, 
Oh dear. Um. Maybe stop and go see my family. Right. What is happening? And because family matter more. Mm. Right, but both of you are very much in love. You know what? Maybe you can talk to your fiancé about the situation and tell him everything, right? Because no matter what, you are going to be uh, a couple anyway, so everything should be shared between the two of you, right? Just speak to him and see how he can solve this problem for you. And see, this is a test time that you can test him if he really, really, really oh. loves and cares about you. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Voila, yeah. there we go. Uh, finally. Yeah. Problem, <laughs> sort. problem sorted, right? Yes. <laughs> Okay, however, it's a post story anyway. Thank you very much, Cindy. Okay. <laughs>